and the petrous portion of the temporal bone is the area around. We have the scala vestibuli is this area here. We have the scala tympani down here. We have the vestibular membrane which separates the scala vestibuli from the cochlear duct. We have the osseous spiral lamina which is this area in here. And it's only, only this area here. The bony part here and the spicula in this area here. Then we have the bacillar membrane, which is the right here in this blue area, the membrane. The epithelium of the spiral sulcus is all of this epithelial tissue here. Then we have the internal hair cells, which are these on this side here, on the left side of the internal pillar cells. Then the next on the list is the internal hair cells, which are these right here. And then we have the external hair cells, which are those on the right here number nine. The internal pillar is this wall here and the external pillar is this wall here. The tunnel of Corti is this area here. The supporting cells are underneath the external hair cells which would be these supporting cells down here. The tectorial membrane is this right here, this gel tissue above the hairs. The cochlear duct, again, is here. The spiral vas is a small hole underneath the tunnel of Corti, right here. The axis is the central bony column of the cochlear and that's here, number 22. The spiral ganglion, number 24, is the nerve tissue here. I'm sorry, not, it's, the ganglion is right here. Mm -hmm. This is the spiral ganglion, number 24, and the cochlear branch of the vestibulocochlear nerve, number 25, is here. And the cochlear arteries are right here in the red. And that concludes the cochlear model.